when you think about America, think about patriotism, and this is one thing, this is like you're doing is an entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, you know, you're doing something with uh, with, with freedom and the love right. of, of barrel racing, obviously, right. so there you well, go. And what I, I want to say is most people that do professional rodeo right. are from the country, I mean, they're from right. all over mid-America, they live on ranches, they raise horses, they right. raise cattle, they are farmers, um, they have really basic um, uh, values, and they, you know, so they they very much value freedom, they value mm -hmm. uh, freedom of religion, they value their right, right to own a gun, they value uh, friendship, and they love America. Right. They, you know, they they sing the national anthem at the beginning of rodeos. They always praise, you know, our troops for fighting for our freedom. I mean, it's it's kind of the core of of rodeo uh, values. Right. See, there's nothing. There's nothing political about that. It's what, there's is, nothing political about that. You can right. be. You can be. Or believe any values you want in uh, Democrat, Republican, whatever it right. is. But if you love America, then you know you kind of you kind of fit in with the rodeo values. Right. If, uh, res this be respectful is all we ask. You know, people who are you know, and that's a problem. A lot of people in the society now are not respectful anymore at all. It's, and it's sad. It really is. Even with social media, great example. You know. Social media, they, there's no respect anymore. I mean, what? no people people just want to want to insult each other anymore. And and I actually have come to a place where, um, you know, I don't want to tell anybody else what to do. Right. They can do whatever they want. They want. It's a free country. Do what you want. Right. But love your country. Love your freedom. Mm -hmm. You know, protect it. Right. That's all. Right. Is, and That's is, what America is unique for, is that we, you know, we right. came here to get, have our freedom. Right, and I'm giving you a, I'm giving you a free voice too, without, without the, without the commercials, without Affleck, without Progressive Insurance, no, no, no. Without no tax, right. I have no, re no benefit right. to talk to you. Right, exactly. You know, all we, uh, all, you know, we're a five hundred one c four. By the way, anybody wants to donate, they can donate to our network. You know, anybody. You know, and any sponsor that we that that the potential sponsors that we that that we have, especially from your organization, if you guys want to uh, do that, if you guys want to send us a nice donation, you can do that. And as a and again, five hundred one c four, and it's a tax it's a tax write off, a tax deduction for your organization. Well, I'll let them know. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, this is one thing that we can, this is one thing we do, and we can do a plug. We can put a banner up, anything you need, a website, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, your your um, link to your website, wherever you have. Let us know, and we'll we'll be glad to do that. We'll be glad to do that. You know, right. for for affordable price, not a. Right. Not, no, not extreme the way, you know, like these base networks, you know, $5 million right. for one year. Well, We're not going to yeah, do I that. Mean, no. It's not up to me. You would have to talk to somebody in charge of promotions or whatever in the right. PRCA. Okay. Professional Rodeo Association. But, you know, they might be interested in, in you know, another avenue to promote rodeo. Right. Is you see, this is what we, this is why what we're, this is what we do here. We want to bring a guest on and that would bring us a new a new market for um, what what we're broadcasting. You see, and you know we have had people from the NASCAR, from from uh, from from the IndyCar series. We right, we've right. been interviewed, but this is the first time we actually done a rodeo. First time. I mean, we we have had people right. uh, from like I said with car IndyCar to uh, uh, with uh, it, right. with Marlboro. I'll tell you, for yeah. what I do, it works the same exact way for the rock riders, the bull mm. riders, the team ropers, the calf ropers. Right. They all, you know, usually start at local events when they're young, right. competing, and then they go, a lot of times they'll go into high school competitions, mm. and then they'll move on to professional rodeo competitions. Right, right. And what, what, how, uh, what's the difference between, um, have, I guess you've never done, uh, um, 
uh, uh, not not bull riding, but like uh, bronco. You know, ride on a bronco. I guess you never done that, have you? Like, there's no, like, no. The only event in professional rodeo in PRCA is the barrel racing for uh, women. Yeah. But there is a women's rodeo association also where they do everything. They do roping, they do bronc riding, they do bull riding, they do everything. Yeah. But it's a smaller organization, and I don't know that much about it, because I don't think there's there's any of those rodeos out here. I think they're mostly, like, in Texas and such. But what, what's the difference between, um, uh, you said um, rope, uh, uh, rope riding. Um, what's the difference between that and barrel riding? What's the difference? Well... Roping is they'll have team roping and they'll they'll have two men on horses and one will rope the head of a calf and the other will rope their feet mm. and then whoever does it the fastest is you know wins money. Does it hurt the cow at all? Does it hurt when they do no, that? No, it doesn't hurt them. And these things, what they are doing is they're doing what they would do out on the ranch um, when they would be doctoring calves or they would be branding them or they'd be giving them, warming them. So they would have to do this anyways to catch them. Oh. So this, they just started doing it as a competition between cowboys. Well, this is basically, he does the fastest, basically is what it is. Just he does, Whoever the does it the fastest. And the same thing with the bronc riding, I mean, it was originally started when, um, you know, they were breaking horses. And the horses would buck and buck them off. And then they thought, <laughs> well, this is really great. People like watching it. So they would breed horses that like to buck. So these horses really just like to buck. It's not that they're getting broke. They will never be broke because that's what they do. Okay.